Now you know how to remove green screen, but let's learn how to properly add a background. First, let's deal with the dog, adding a realistic background and making it look realistic. First, we're going to put the green screen dog on track two. Then let's find this park movie video and put it right behind on layer one. I'm gonna zoom in here. This park video is not going to match the entire length of the dog video, so we can just trim off this last part of the dog video using the razor blade tool and deleting. Right away, we can say that this doesn't look quite natural. For me, the background video does not match the size of the dog because I'm using the full resolution park.mov file, which is 1920 by 1080, whereas the green screen dog video is only 1280 by 720. It's going to be different for you because I compressed them for the course. But know that a quick way to resize any footage to match the size of the sequence is by right clicking and saying scale to frame size. If I turn off the dog and I do that again, you'll see that it automatically fits the screen size. So right click scale to frame size. Now we can adjust our dog. The dog looks too big for this background. So we can select our dog, double click him in our program monitor, and then we can just resize. Let's try to make it look like this dog is the right size and we can put him somewhere that makes sense. So let's just put him in the bottom left corner. So still looks pretty big, but that looks more or less normal. The next thing we want to do is match the color temperature and the color correction of the background to our dog. Our dog looks a little bit green. So we can go into the effects controls and under the ultra key effect, there actually is some color correction options. You can even color correct this in Lumetri color if you want, but might as well just use these simple options in the ultra key if they work. The hue, if we drag this to the right, will turn it more green and then blue. And then if we go to the left, it's going to get more orange, reddish, orange, and then purple. So we don't want to go too far with it, but we can just go just a little bit, maybe negative eight or so. And luminance, this is going to be the brightness, but also the contrast. We can decrease just a little bit to match the lighting in the background. This already looks a little bit better. One thing that's going on in the background though that's not happening with our green screen dog is all these subjects or objects, the trees, the light posts, they create shadows in this environment. So let's go ahead and add a shadow to our dog. In the effects, search for shadow and you'll find drop shadow. Let's take that onto our green screen dog. Then go down to the drop shadow options and if we increase the distance, you can see where the shadow is. We're going to make it relatively far away so we can see it on the grass. Maybe play with the direction just a little bit. Something like so. And maybe soften it up just a bit. It's not a hard shadow. You can also play with the opacity if you want it to be a little bit darker to stand out. Maybe decrease this, the distance just a little bit and the direction, make it closer to the dog, something like that. Now it looks more like our dog is a part of the environment and when our dog moves, the shadow moves and it actually looks like it's a shadow on this grass right here. So that looks pretty good. So the key things to do with adding a background are to make sure that the size of your subject in the background matches then make sure that the color correction and color temperature match. Then lastly, add a shadow to make your subject feel as if they're a part of the background. If you're not using a realistic background or you don't care about it looking like it's matching, that's okay too. We have this light curtains horizontal clip, which is just a background that I created in After Effects. And this is something that you can use for any project, any green screen project. And if I put this underneath me, you can see that it's abstract, but it's kind of cool. Adding a drop shadow actually will help this video too. So I'm going to do that, add a drop shadow. 
and make it a little bit bigger. So distance, a little bit bigger, and the softness. I don't like the hard edge shadows that much. I like a bit more distance, but making it soft. And that just looks like it was kind of like an actual background and that my shadow is just casting on it. And now that we've edited out the green screen, we can actually increase the size of this video just a little bit or even move it around if we want to say move me right here while I'm talking and then we can have some titles pop up here since this is one of my course videos or add other graphics or anything like that. Cool, so that's a bit about adding backgrounds to your videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in another lesson.